Hey, Cam here with Acumen Learning. Listen, I was scrolling through LinkedIn recently and I saw a poll that showed that sales reps were spending more time than ever before preparing for a sales call. Some reps were reporting that they spent four or more hours preparing for a single call. Now, listen, I, I would certainly argue that in our world of enterprise selling, this type of preparation is warranted. I would say that uh, just as important as your empathy and your consultative selling skills, you have to come to that call with some situational understanding. And that's what this uh, preparation is, is meant for. So let's be honest though, we always find ourselves in a situation where we don't have that time. Uh, what do we do when we ha uh, have limited time? How do we prepare for that call? Let me share four quick steps that I uh, take I always take when I have 10 minutes or less in preparing for the call. The first thing I do is I want to just get a quick pulse of the company that I'm calling on. I want to, and I, I just want to answer some really basic questions. First, what kind of, what industry are they in? How many employees they have? What's their top line revenue growth? I can get all of those uh, answers at a, a quick resource like Yahoo Finance, Glassdoor, or uh, LinkedIn, uh, that's my first stop is just getting some of those basic questions answered. The next thing I do is I wanna spend some time on the company's investor relations page. If, if there's not a direct link on their company website to that IR page, you can simply just Google IR and then the company name. But once I'm there, you should see at the top of that page an announcement for their next earnings release. And I'm telling you, just knowing when their earnings release is gives you all sorts of information around what their potential budget cycle could be, what could they be focused on over the next few months. Uh, just knowing that is a, is a, is a great piece of information. I, you can also spend some time reviewing the slide deck from their last uh, earnings release. So I do that. And then I also want to review their press releases. And I'm looking there for anything big, a recent acquisition, a new product launch, or a, a new executive that they hired. That'll all be there in those press releases. And anything big, I want to make sure I know before I meet with, the, uh, with that company. Um, so once I get a good fill of the company, then I, I certainly want to spend some time understanding my contact, the person I'm, I'm talking to. And, and that's a quick stop on their LinkedIn page. If I go to their LinkedIn page, I, I, I wanna just quickly review their job title, their job description, their experience, their career experience, what they've done there. And I'm looking for just any commonalities that we might have, people that we, we mutually know, um, companies that we've interacted with or schools that we've interacted with. I look at all of that on their LinkedIn page. Last step, I just want to spend a few minutes getting really curious. What would it be like if I was in their shoes? What would it be like if I had their role um, and I experienced everything that, that was going on in that company? What would I be focused on? What would be my priorities? What would I want to accomplish? I want to get curious around those, those things and really just solution aside, what would I want to accomplish if I was in that role? Um, let me give you a quick example of doing these four steps. I recently was preparing for a call that I had with Delta Airlines. Now, everyone knows a little bit about Delta, right? Um, but in 10 minutes after doing these steps, I was able to uh, quickly gain an understanding of Delta's threefold strategy coming out of the pandemic. They're focusing on brand loyalty, balance sheet strength, and driving efficiency. So they hope to return to pre-pandemic levels by 2023 using this, this strategy. So that I think that's brilliant. I think it's a quick turnaround, uh, very exciting for them. It just made me curious. My contact, what of those that threefold strategy would she be focused on and why? You know I'm gonna ask her when I meet with her. Very excited to meet with Delta. And I hope you all are excited to meet with your uh, clients and contacts. Happy selling.